Hello everyone, welcome to the course Basics of Electrical Engineering, Electrical Hose Wiring and Electrical Safety. If you are a beginner or experienced who wants to understand the basics of electrical engineering right from the scratch or if you know about electrical engineering and wants to brush up the basics or if you are preparing for any higher level core electrical skills and working as architect, electrical, mechanical or civil engineer then this course is just right for you. Why? Right. So let me tell you why. This course is structured into 12 chapters. So in the first chapter, you can find the history of electricity where we are going to discuss the research and development which was done in the field of electricity. National Occupational Standards for Assistant Electrician. If you are working as electrician, so we are having some safety standards, so we have to follow those standards. Electrician duties and the responsibilities. Procedure for arranging temporary wiring at construction site. Resources to accomplish the work. Methods to reduce the wastage. NSQF level. NSQF stands for the National Skill Qualification Framework. About all these things we are going to discuss in detail in the chapter 1. In chapter 2, we are going to discuss about electricity, the different types of electricity like we have the alternate current, we have the direct current. Again electricity in its terms like basic definition, what is mean by voltage, what is mean by current. Okay, what? Again we have the Ohm's law, again types of electrical connections like we are having two different types of connections. One is by means of series, one is by means of parallel. Next we have chapter 3. In this chapter we are going to discuss about electrical circuit. So if you want to run your system we have to make a circuit. Okay so these circuits are classified into four types. One is nothing but we have the closed circuit, we have the open circuit, we have the short circuit, again we have the leakage circuit. Next electrical protection. So what are the devices which we use generally for the safety like your fuses and the circuit breakers. In chapter 4, we are going to discuss about the conductors, insulators and the switchgear. So different types of conductors and its properties, different types of insulators and its properties and different types of switchgear equipments like your circuit breakers, your ELCBs, your RCDs. In chapter 5, we are going to discuss about acidification of power distribution like we are having the single phase and three phase power and the types of distribution boards. Okay, in distribution boards, we are having some classifications like we have the sub main distribution board, we have the main distribution board. Again, we are going to discuss about the staircase wiring, the one way switch, the two way switch, again the three way switch. Again, we have the go down wiring. In this go down wiring, by using your double throw and the single throw switch, we are going to connect the lights and these type of connections generally we can find in your go downs or in your corridors. In chapter 6 we are going to discuss about the lights and fans, the different types of lights, what we have, what we have to use with respect to the interior side and what we have to use with respect to the exterior side. Again what is meant by LED, we are going to focus on LED as LED is demanding in the market as LED is having many advantages and the features. Ceiling fan, about ceiling fan we are going to discuss the tools and materials which we require at site when we are installing or when we are going to maintain the lights in the fans. Next we have chapter 7. In chapter 7 we are going to discuss about the tools and instruments. Okay, so these tools and instruments we are classifying in terms of two areas. One is the hand tool and one is the power tool. Again we require the machinery tools also. Again the electrical accessories and fittings. So whatever the components which we require at site about all those things we are going to discuss in detail in this chapter along with some real time images. Again chapter 8 we are going to discuss about the earthing, what is mean by earthing, the different types of earthing, how to measure the earth resistance value, what is the main purpose of providing earthing, the conventional methods, we are having some different methods out of which we are going to discuss about the conventional method, okay, methods for construction of earthing pit, factors affecting on the earth resistivity, we are having 10 factors about all those 10 factors we are going to discuss, maximum allowable earth resistance as per the standards, treatment for minimizing the earth resistance. Okay, so all these things we are going to discuss in detail in chapter 8. Next we have the chapter 9. In this chapter we are going to discuss about the safety from electricity, the causes of accidents, the personal protective equipments which we have to use when we are working with the live wires, again the general safety rules, the first aid to electric shock victim. 
Chapter 10, we are going to discuss about the electrical fire and the safety, the different classifications for the fire, the precautions to be taken, the process of sorting different types of wastages at site. In chapter 11, we are going to discuss about scaffolding. Scaffolding is actually a vertical structure which we provide generally for the elevated structures. So we are having five different types of scaffolding. So all the scaffoldings we are going to discuss in detail. And chapter 12, we are having some conversions, okay, the units and conversions and their formula. So how to convert the value from the imperial format to metric format, how to convert the area in terms of square meter to square feet. Again, we are having the formulas according to the Ohm's law, how to find out the P value, how to find out the I value, how to find out the V value. Again, the electrical properties of some metals at room temperature. So all these chapters are started from the scratch, assuming you know nothing about electrical engineering. Now coming for the next little bit about me and why I am qualified enough to teach you this electrical module. So I am possessing a bachelor degree in electrical and electronics engineering as well as holding a dual master degree in electrical and management area and I am a certified AutoCAD and Revit engineer from JNAFAU and I am into this field since 5 years now and I have published and attended many international journals and conferences. That's all about me. The course currently has 12 videos in approximately about 2 and a half hours of duration. Along with this course also includes a handbook PDF file where you have the detailed study about all the discussed topics. So if all of this sounds good, so I will see you in the course. Thank you.